Mary Ann Caprino is a loan officer with The Money Store and a great resource of information. I asked her what she thought of the current environment for mortgage loans. Hello, we're here. I'm here with Marianne Caprino, a loan officer from the Money Store. We're overlooking Ventura County, uh, not outside here, partly because of the pandemic, and the pandemic has, has of course, changed so many things. Mm -hmm. um, beyond uh, where interest rates are right now, what are your thoughts about either those and just the overall environment mm -hmm. over the next year or two? Yeah, so it's a great question. I get asked it a lot. Um, Really, the next two years, we're thinking interest rates are going to stay lower, okay? Uh, with the pandemic, they're going to want to make sure that people, the housing industry is moving forward, okay? Because it's a very important part of, of basically, face it, living in the United States, everybody wants to own a home, and it keeps the economy going, keeps jobs out there. So we think in the next couple of years, rates are going to stay lower. Um, you know, I would say... Uh, you know, definitely after the election that's coming up, we're probably going to see rates go up a tiny bit, but not much. Okay. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of that, you know, uh, uh, there's still going to be a lot of people buying homes, people refinancing, that kind of thing. Um, some of the things that are happening with COVID that have taken place is that jumbo loans are very, very hard to get. Okay. Uh, banks are not lending in the jumbo market right now. Um, and believe me, people with considerable amount of income are not able to get them. Okay, so uh, here in Ventura County, uh, a non-jumbo loan is anything 713,000 and under. That's what we call a conventional loan, conforming loan. Those are very easy to get right now, but anything above that amount is going to be very difficult. Okay, so that's just something that we're seeing. The other thing that's happened right now is um, self-employed borrowers, we used to be able to look at bank statements and uh, to be able to verify their income because they were writing a lot off their tax returns. Normally, business owners are going to write off as much as they can on their tax returns, so not showing a lot of income. Um, so we would look at their bank statements. That is also kind of dried up. Right. It's a little difficult right now. So I would say those are two of the main things that we're seeing right now All right. Uh, with regards to uh, the lending market. Sure. Now, how about you? Are you not seeing your clients as much? I'd imagine you used to do stuff over the phone as, as much as now before, much more now. I'm, yeah. I and mean, how's that I would, working I would say um, it's, it's about the same for me. I'll tell you why. We're, we're pretty automated now. We have loan software that just talks to all the different major bureaus and things of that nature so we can get the information we need. Um, I have people who still want to meet in person, okay? And so they, they come in and, and we'll meet with them, you know, wear the mask and all that kind of thing, or I'll come to them, it's up to them. Um, but we have, I have a lot of people that we're doing everything over the phone, everything over the internet. Um, so it really depends on the client. All right, very good. Well, and if you wanted to get in contact with Marianne Caprino, please let me know. I will do that for you. And um, as you can see, whether it's uh, in person or probably more likely over the phone nowadays, um, I'll, I'll be happy to do that. Thanks a lot.